Inter-Korean high-level military talks are held for the first time in over a decade. Generals from the two sides are at the border village of Panmunjom discussing ways to ease cross-border tensions as a follow-up to the Panmunjom declaration. Also in the background is this week's freeze for freeze deal between Pyongyang and Washington, in which the North promised to halt its nuclear program, and the U.S. said it would be suspending its war games in the region. Our Park ji has been keeping a close eye on these talks so far. We'll go live to her now at Seoul's Office for Inter-Korean Dialogue. ji it's been going on for a while. Daniel, today's talks are nearing their end at Tongilgak on the North Korean side of Panmunjom, some 50 kilometers north of Seoul. According to South Korea's Defense Ministry Joint Press Corps, the two sides are currently working on a joint agreement, yet no details announced as of now. The talks began at around 10 a.m. Korea time, with five delegates on each side, and they've been immersed into talks for hours now, even foregoing a lunch break. Although details of the talks are yet to be unveiled, the chief negotiators, Major General Kim Do-gyun from the South Korean delegation and Lieutenant General Anik San from the North Korean delegation, made their opening remarks to the media earlier in the day. A lieutenant general in North Korea is equivalent to a major general in South Korea. And let's hear what the two chief negotiators spoke before the talks began. As the two leaders have already presented a clear map regarding military affairs, I think both South and North Korea can achieve the expected results in these highly anticipated talks if we discuss the issues in the firm spirit of the Panmunjom Declaration. At this historic moment when the whole Korean nation is attempting to promote peace and prosperity, I am deeply moved to see North and South Korea's military authorities sitting down here face to face to discuss multi-issues in order to implement the Panmunjom Declaration. The talks are set for one day only, and the joint agreement is expected to be announced sometime later in the evening. I will bring you updates in the next newscast. Back to you, Daniel. All right.